Hey YouTube, good morning. So it's time to do an unprotected left-hand turn video. And uh, this is version 11.3.3. Um, it's been pretty good so far. It is Sunday morning. The traffic is probably gonna be light, so this may not be very challenging. I wanna thank a lot of you uh, for your participation on Twitter and um, have asked a lot of questions about beekeeping. So I thought I'd throw a little bit of a beekeeping story in here. So this is a drone honeybee. Um, drone honeybees have big beady eyes on them and the reason they have big beady eyes on them is so they can find queens when they have uh, to mate. The only job of a drone in a beehive is to go out and mate with queens from other colonies. Uh, and believe it or not, drones do not have stingers. So if you're ever out playing with your kids and you want them to be able to pick up a bee, make sure you only pick up the drones. The worker bees have barb stingers and it does kill a worker bee when she stings you. Uh, a queen has a stinger, but there's no barb on it and she very rarely uses that stinger. Um, and drones don't have stingers. So this little guy is just gonna kind of be crawling around here today while we do our little drive. Here we go. Round one. Okay, the map path looks good. The stop line looks good. Let's look for the creep network and the media network. They all look about the same, no changes. It needs to creep out. There's a big gap to the left if it goes. Oh, it waited on that one. So that was a pretty far car. Um, the back to the uh, version 11.3 is definitely looking further down the line. Uh, and it's clear wide to the right and wide to the left. It should roll this straight on through. Um, yeah, as I'm looking at this traffic today, this is pretty much just going to be a mechanics test. There's not a whole lot of traffic here. But hey, that was uh, a good one. It was a nice pause. It waited for one car and then proceeded. Let's try another one. Okay. Here goes round two. Stop line. Full stop. There's no doubt about that. It just paused there. Hey, there you go. Needs to wait right there. Got a couple cars coming. One, two, three, four. And a small gap. It's probably not going to go for. That car's moving pretty quick. And it was identified blue on the screen. And, uh... Got, a, got another car coming. He's identified blue there too. So it, it definitely is waiting when these cars are identified blue, which is good. And they are definitely showing up earlier than they were on version 1069. Now here's a small gap it could go for. Wow, it waited on that one. That's probably one of the longest. I, I definitely could have gone for that one. And here's a nice little gap it can go for. Commit all the way. Okay, all right. Yeah, it uh, paused in the middle of the road. Incorrect, unprotected left-hand turn maneuver. Yeah, so it uh, got scared that time because of the oncoming car, and it didn't go to the median appropriately. So, a um, little disappointing. Hadn't seen that in a while, but at least we got a scenario to test it. Uh, it, it felt like it just waited a little long to go, and then once it went, it didn't do its maneuver to get into the median. Once it saw the car coming from the right, it just froze. And of course there's oncoming traffic coming uh, directly at me 90 degrees. So that was a fail. All right, we'll try another one. All right, here we go again. So um, I'm definitely noticing that the route calculation is taking longer uh, on this version. I've done this turn so many times, I kind of have gotten used to how long it takes to recalculate the route, but it's taking unusually uh, a little bit more time on this version, and it decided to wait for that one. It, it's almost waiting too much now. Some of these gaps are definite, uh, definite opportunities. Look where it stopped. It cannot stop in the road. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but it is stopping for unprotected lefts in the middle of the road right now. That's two times in a row. So it definitely has regressed based on, on three turns. With oncoming traffic from the right, it's not going to the median like it used to on 1069. So uh, we'll keep trying a few more, but that was twice in a row. It was using the uh, high speed lane of traffic as its place to uh, pause for the uh, traffic coming from the right. All right, this time we've got a car in front of us trying to turn right, which could change the scenario just a little bit. More than likely, it'll just he'll, he'll find a gap and then we'll have uh, a different scenario. But we're just waiting here. You can see the blinker is showing on his uh, asset, turning to the right. 
kind of far back from where I think I would probably be pulled up. Um, not that that matters in this situation. And you can see the trajectory it's plotting. Stop line comes in, so it definitely is stopping for our turn, which I've definitely seen mixed results on that. And now here's the creep forward for visibility. And it needs to stop. Okay. And then that was the only car. So it's going to go left. Um, and it should go all the way across. Whoa. Stop again right there. And then it went. So that behavior is different. Um, it's not jumping to the median anymore. Now, granted, that time it didn't create a disengagement because I didn't have any fast opposing cars. But... There was one car coming from the right and it's almost like it was thinking a little bit about its trajectory before it, it committed. It did put a stop line in the median so I know it was going there, but in 10.69, it would go to the median and wait. Um, this version is, is waiting a little bit in the uh, lane of traffic. All right, we've got an opposing car in the median. Looks like he's doing a U-turn. Definitely identified him as blue. Stopped for the stop line there. And should be going out for the creep. Okay, it's wide open from the left, but not from the right. So where's it going to stop again? Very slowly into the median that time. It didn't stop that time, but it definitely crawled into the median and then it waited. So I definitely think this has, you know, kind of been a little bit repetitive here. We've seen a repeat behavior of, of its approach into the median is definitely a little different. And creating scenarios problem scenarios when the oncoming traffic um, is approaching. It's, it's not really getting out of the way. Okay, we'll see if we can fit a few more in. All right. Creeping out. And it probably is going to wait. Okay, it did. It waited for a car that I could have gone for, but I'm starting to get to realize it's looking much further in this version, and it's waiting on any car that it sees, regardless of whether or not it could fit. So um, quite a bit of traffic here, probably another 20 or 30 seconds of a wait. So a little bit of an experiment of how far out you can see them and when they're showing up and when they turn blue. When they are blue, it's not going. That's what I've noticed so far on this turn, even though it's seeing them far enough away that I think there are opportunities it could go. Um, it's doing a really good job saying, okay, after this truck is definitely the opportunity to go and it should start rolling right now. That's good, but it's very hesitant and it's wide open, it shouldn't stop. So that time it completely went for it. And the different variable is there wasn't a car approaching from the right-hand side it needed to consider. So I think that that might be one little um, thing it's doing is as it's crossing and going to the median and assessing the trajectories coming from the right, uh, that time there weren't any for it to consider and slow down for. Uh, and it proceeded without stopping. So that was a good one. Um, I'm glad we got to see that. All right, YouTube, I think I'm going to end on the good note. Uh, that was a pretty good one. Got to see some good camera vision. A little bit disappointing on the way the UPLs are entering the median. I think uh, they changed the behavior a little bit about how it jumps to the median. Maybe a little bit of a, a pause there or a latency while it's looking for the oncoming traffic from to the, to the right. Um, hopefully the engineers can use this um, and hopefully it continues to go a little bit wider. Have a great day, everybody.